Good evening. Uh, it's about seven o'clock here in California. Thought I would uh, give you a little something that jumped at me at me today. I was reading in First Thessalonians, uh, chapter four, and Paul starts off talking to the Christians basically about how a Christian ought to live, how he ought to behave in the world. Um, what things to avoid, how to keep um, yourself, you know, abstain from fornication, don't defraud each other, um, you know, the basic morality that Christians are supposed to display and live up to. Our bodies are temples of the Holy Ghost. It says to, you know, to keep your, to possess your vessel in sanctification and honor. Um, and then he gets to the, uh, because he says in verse seven, for God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. And the idea there, obviously, you know, we're supposed to, oh, my little, uh, device there slipped. Let me see if I got that. Okay. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to keep going because what I got to say is fairly short. At any rate, um, we're called not into uncleanness, but into holiness. You know, we're, our bodies are temples of the Holy Ghost. We're not supposed to, you know, go around living like the devil and his children. Um, obviously, if we sin and confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Like I said before about the Jesus washing our feet analogy, our feet are what touch this dirty earth throughout the day. And, you know, they need to be cleansed and washed, you know, every day, uh, as often as we think of it. Because we're in this flesh. And as Paul talked about in Romans chapter 7, we are constantly battling against this old man, this flesh. Um, that draws us toward fleshly desires and sins. And we're supposed to, you know, resist that and fight against that and uh, die daily and, uh, you know, keep our flesh down. Fasting's a good way to do that, by the way. Um, I've been reading about fasting a lot lately. And, you know, it's a way to humble, to, sh to shut the body up. To kind of tell the body to shut up, basically. And uh, so you can focus on the things of the Spirit. But, um, and f listen to God a little bit better. So, anyway, verse 8, after he says, I'll go back to verse 7. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that disputeth, or despiseth, I'm sorry, despiseth not man, but God. Who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. And that's the key verse that, to me that kind of jumped out here. He that there he therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man but God, who hath also given unto us his Holy Spirit. It's interesting that when people get corrected or called out on error or having the things that they're doing pointed out to them they always want to go back to the person doing it and they want to go back at that person this person saying this about me this person saying that about me they're slandering me they're you know whatever the case is if what you're doing is against what it says in the Word of God in the Bible right the Holy Bible, the Word of God, what we have knowledge of that's without dispute, or it should be, if you just read it for what it says and don't push a bunch of stuff into it. And you're upset because somebody points out that what you're doing is against God's Word. Your, your argument is not with that person. Your argument, your contention 
is not with that person. If you despise what they say, it, you're not despising them. You're despising God. God's the one that wrote the rules. God's the one that gave the commandments. God's the one that gave the conduct of behavior. God's the one that set the standard of holiness and morality. And if you're disputing that, you're disputing God, not man. You're shooting the messenger. You're trying to go after the person. All they're doing is bringing the message to you. And if you want that person, the messenger, who's looking at what you're doing and calling you out for what you're doing and how what you're doing is comparing to what God says we should be doing. And I don't care what it is you're doing. I don't care if it's, you know, some sin or if it's a, a lifestyle thing or if it's an attitude or if it's a religious belief that's an error or if you're actively out there consorting with the demon-possessed witches and warlocks and uh, controlled opposition agents in the Flat Earth Movement. I don't care what it is. If you're being called out and you're being stung by this, there's, there's one of two ways to answer it. Either you're not doing what they say you're doing, in which case that's easy. That's easy. Just say, I'm not doing that. Show me where I'm doing that. But if you are doing that, and they have evidence that you're doing that, and you don't like the fact that they point out that you're doing that, then your, your, your dispute is not with that person. Your dispute is with God. He's the one that said it. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're not supposed to be drinking out of the cup of devils and the cup of the Lord. You're not the one you're you're not supposed to be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You're not supposed to take on the role of pastor to witches, for instance. Because you're disputing against the word of God. You're going against the Bible. And as painful as that might be to receive, and as painful as that might be to hear, as much as you don't want to see yourself that way, well then come out from among them and be ye separate, as the Bible says. Don't consort with them. I'm, I'm not saying don't witness to people that are in these lifestyles. Of course, who else are we going to witness to? Don't be ridiculous. We're in the world. But we're not of the world. And you don't link up and lock up and get in lockstep with and endorse and support people that are pagans and witches and false prophets. And you certainly don't call yourself their pastor. Pastor of the Flat Earth Movement. So that includes everybody in the movement. Mm -hmm. Look at your congregation, brother. I wouldn't let him put that title on me. Be honest with you, when I saw what they were doing and heard what they were doing, I wouldn't even go to the concert or the concert. I wouldn't even go to the conference three minutes from my house that I had tickets to that were non-refundable. I didn't want to be part of it. It's evil. It's wrong. I wish I could have got my money back so I could have withdrawn the, even that amount of support, but that's the last dime. My thing's falling again. That's the last time they're getting from me. So anyway... Don't dispute against God. Don't despise God. Because that's what you're doing if you're despising the correction brought to you from the Word of God. I don't care who it's brought to you by. All right. So that's my thought for the day. Um, 
For those of you who watch, I love you. God bless you. And I'll talk to you again real soon.